Now let's just uh, uh, talk about this release. Uh, first of all, tell us, you know, uh, what, how would you define the LTS release of Zoe? What does it mean? How long you support it? And uh, other stuff about it. Yeah, awesome. So LTS is an acronym for long term support release. So we, Zoe is developed using a sort of agile um, principles. We, we ship every six weeks. So we, we deliver quite fast. Um, we don't want to do two things that have too much of an event horizon because often, you know, if you, if you aim and miss, there's a, you, you know, you, you want to fire something small and did it hit the target? And if so, then you can double down. It's like planting lots of flat, planting lots of seeds, right? Some will bloom and some will don't. And then you keep the watering them on top. So every, because we change it every six weeks, we want stability, but we also want change. And those are two conundrums and they kind of pull in opposite directions. So when we first released Zoe version one long-term support, that was March, 2020. That was about two years and two months ago. And we grounded upon a set of APIs, application programming interfaces. And we said to customers, if you install that in March, um, even though we're updating it every six weeks, we're not going to break you. You won't lose any data. If any vendors extend that and build apps, and we have 75 different apps that extend Zoe, they will all work. There's harmony between them. You get that cohesion. But eventually, you get technical debt. You know, you realize that you have to upgrade the code base. You've made some poor design decisions, or perhaps requirements have come in from outside where you need to keep up with the latest, um, uh, you know, met methodologies around security. So version two long-term support, we've reset the clock on another two-year window on a new release based upon our version one long-term support. So that's what version two is. We've reset the clock on that. Version one is still supported, but it's in what's called maintenance mode. So if any customers have version one, we're only going to patch that with critical fixes, critical security fixes. But you'll see no enhancements to version one. That's what's now in maintenance mode. For how long you support each LTS version? Of course, you mentioned uh, LTS one, so that gives us a reference. But officially, what is the support uh, for how long it's supported? The long-term support is active for two years plus or minus a couple of months or something like that. There's always a little bit of flexibility. So for about two years, that's an active release. So if somebody installs Zoe version 2.0, in two years time, I'm trying to do the math in my head, two years time, six weeks in two years, how many releases did that give us? That might give us 20 releases, yeah? If they install Zoe version 2.0, in two years time, Zoe version 20 will be compatible with version two. None of our programming interfaces will change. And if they install version two and use it and have lots of users and they get straight to our two, release 2.20 in two years time, we have a binding, we have a sort of agreement that that will be 100% compatible. And it gives customers confidence that they don't have to keep upgrading. There's nothing worse than constantly upgrading your software or you download a new app and the app says, oh, I need a new version of the operating system. You know, we, we see that with the app store and, and, and that's good in some markets, not good in the mainframe. People want stability. Yeah.